Hi everyone, I would like to introduce you all to Libby. Libby is a reading app for borrowing digital books and audiobooks and is brought to you by the Meaford Public Library. The Libby app can be downloaded from your app store and used on Android, iOS, and Windows 10 mobile systems or on your computer by visiting libbyapp.com in your Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Edge browser. Today I'm going to show you how to use it on my computer, but the process will be similar on other platforms and devices that you may be using. So first off, let's go to libbyapp.com, and this will bring us to our welcome menu here where we're going to answer a few questions to get started. First question, do you have a library card? Yes, I do. Second, we're going to look up our library location, and we're going to search for a library. And we're going to enter in Meaford. As you can see, Meaford Public Library comes up, and you can also see it says here Ontario Library Service Consortium. So the Meaford Library belongs to a group of libraries that comes together to provide digital services for its members. So don't be confused, you're in the right spot. So let's select this. Next, where do you use your library card? Meaford Public Library. All right, now we're gonna enter in our card number, which is the 14 digits on the back of our card. We'll hit next. Our PIN number is the last four digits of our phone number. Mine is slightly different, but yours will be the last four digits of your phone number. And then we select sign in. And ta-da, here's our library card. So if you have multiple library cards, say you have a Blue Mountains card or an Owen Sound library card, you can add them to Libby as well. Each library card shows the number of loans you've taken and the number of holds that you've placed. All right, we're all ready to borrow, so let's have some fun. Let's click Next to begin our search. So here's the main screen of the Ontario Library Service. We're going to choose Explore to begin. And this is going to bring up a couple of different options here that we can browse through if we're not sure what we're looking for. But if we are sure, we can go up to this magnifying glass search icon and we can search for the book that we're looking for. So we're looking for The Bear by Claire Cameron. And we'll hit enter to search. And the results here, we can see that there are two items that have come up. One is an audiobook, as indicated here by the audio earbud icon. So an audiobook is a recording of a book that is read aloud by a narrator. The second here is an ebook, and an ebook is a digital copy of the physical book that you will read off your device. So that's the difference between the audiobook is one that you will listen to, and the ebook, which is one that you will read. So I'm looking for the ebook, and we can see here it's available to borrow, so let's select that. So if you have multiple library cards, again, they're going to show up here, so you just want to make sure that the correct library card is highlighted so that the loan you're borrowing goes to the correct account. So I have my Meaford card here, which is the one that I want, so I'm all ready to hit borrow. Alright, we have borrowed a book, so now we can either open the book, keep browsing, or go to shelf. So how about we open the book, and I can show you a few tips on reading your ebook with Libby. Alright, so if you click in the middle of the screen here, it's going to remove this menu. You can now click left to change pages or right to change pages. If you click in the middle, it brings back up that main menu. You can see here it shows our current page number, 31, 32, or 336. Click there, it'll show you the number of pages left in your chapter. Click again, it shows you percent read of the book. Click again and it brings you back to your current page number. If you go over to the right hand corner here, there's three bars. If you select that, it brings up a side menu with some different options to go through. You can look at chapters, bookmarks that you create, and there's a nice neat uh, setting here. It's reading settings. Let's click on that. So this one is going to give us some options to change um, some different settings of the book. So for instance, you can change the text size so you can make it much bigger or much smaller depending on your preference. You can also choose the lighting. You can change it from bright to sepia to dark. Dark is fantastic if you're reading at night and you're in bed. This will make it a lot easier to read. Bright makes it really easier to read when you're sitting in the sun, for instance. You can also change features of the book design, uh, custom features as well if you would like, so including font and justification, line spacing, etc. So let's just hit done when we are finished there. Come back to our book here and click in the middle and you can continue reading. So your loan will automatically expire once the loan period is over, but how do you know when that is? So to find that out, let's click in the middle here to bring that menu up again and we're going to go to our shelf. So 
So back here in our loan shelf, we can come back and we can see the bear is highlighted here. So it shows a couple different features here. So we can see that we, the percent of our book that is completed is 10%. And we can see here it is due in 14 days. We can also click here to manage loan. When we come here, it is going to give us an exact time and date for when that book is due, as well as the card that it is uh, it's checked out on. We also have the option of returning early. So if you are done your book, say right now, and it's not due till April 7th, you can choose to return it early. So this is some good book borrowing karma because it's going to allow the next person in line to get that book right away instead of waiting. So let's choose to return early. Alright, so we're all set to return. And there goes our book. And a really neat little feature, you see that little bouquet if you click on that. Ta-da! Thanks for returning your ebook early. How cute is that? Alright, I hope this video was helpful in showing you how easy it is to use Libby. And thank you so much for joining me and happy reading.